Hello, my name is Leroy Cresswell, and I'm with the Orca Kilroy Academy, and this is a hands-on demonstration of the effects of salinity and temperature on dissolved oxygen in water. As terrestrial animals that breathe through our lungs, we are afforded uh, an atmosphere that usually is, is highly saturated in oxygen, unless we go up to a high elevation like mountain climbing, or we are at high altitude in an aeroplane where the atmospheric pressure is lower and there's less oxygen in the air, uh, do we have difficulty breathing. Now, if you're an aquatic animal, like a shrimp, a crustacean, or a fish, and you breathe through your gills, you have to extract the oxygen from the water. And it, it becomes a different story because the amount of oxygen that is in water, that can be saturated in water, is dependent upon its temperature and also dependent upon its salinity, or in fact, the amount of any dissolved solid that happens to be in the water. So what we're going to do today is we're going to demonstrate that by looking at two different temperatures and three different salinities. As you can see here, I have one water bath that has ice water in it that is approximately four or five degrees centigrade. That's the cold water bath. Over here we have an aquarium heater and it is now at 35 degrees centigrade, so much warmer. And then within that we are, each water bath, we have three different beakers that are being aerated and they represent three different salinities. So now we're going to take a dissolved oxygen meter, and this is called a YSI 55 dissolved oxygen meter, and the uh, degree of uh, current that passes across that, the amount of electricity, is a measure of the dissolved oxygen in the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to start now with the fresh water, and we're going to begin with cold fresh water. Zero parts per thousand, five degrees centigrade. This takes a little while. As you can see, I slightly stirred the probe in the, in the fresh water. Looks like we're slowing down here at 12.4 parts per million. Okay. Now we're going to come over here. Again, fresh water, but at a much warmer temperature, 35 degrees centigrade. Once again, put the probe in, 6.2 parts per million. That's fresh water at high temperature. Okay, now we're going to look at uh, full strength seawater, or 30 parts per thousand salinity, and a cold bath of 5 degrees centigrade. So now we've already done fresh water at 5 degrees centigrade. Now we're doing salt water at 5 degrees centigrade. 10.5. Now we're going to look at salt water, 30 parts per thousand, in a hot water bath of 35 degrees centigrade. 5.0 parts per million dissolved oxygen in seawater at 35 degrees centigrade. Now our final determination here for dissolved oxygen and the, and the effects of salinity and temperature on the amount of oxygen in water is a salinity of 15 parts per thousand or an equal mix of seawater and freshwater, what we call brackish water, which we often find in our estuaries where salt water from the ocean mixes with freshwater coming in from our rivers. So here we are, we're going to look at 15 parts per thousand salinity that's 15 grams per liter, and cold water at 5 degrees centigrade, 11.2. Now, for our last determination here, we're going to look at, again, brackish water, 15 parts per thousand salinity, and in 35 degrees centigrade, warm, warm water. This would be our bath water. 5.7 parts per million dissolved oxygen. Now why don't we try to graph the data that we've just collected with our dissolved oxygen meter. So we're going to start off now with the uh, warm, warm water, the 35 degrees centigrade, and we're going to look at starting with fresh water. So zero parts per thousand salinity and 35 degrees centigrade, and our dissolved oxygen according to our meter was 6.2. Now, at 15 parts per thousand, again at 35 degrees centigrade, warm brackish water, we were at 5.7.
And finally, the warm water and sea, uh, with seawater, or 30 parts per thousand, was 5.0 parts per million. So as you can see here, there was a gradual decline. At the same temperature, there was a de gradual decline with an increase in salinity. Now let's look at the cold water, the 5 degrees centigrade, and see what we have. Starting once again with fresh water, zero parts per thousand, and our dissolved oxygen in parts per million was 12.4. At 15 parts per, uh, parts per thousand, or brackish water, the dissolved oxygen was 11.2 parts per million. And finally, at 5 degrees centigrade and 30 parts per thousand salt water, our, our dissolved oxygen was 10.5 parts per million. So as you can see, there has been a gradual decrease in the amount of dissolved oxygen in parts per million as it relates to salinity and temperature. But you can tell at the same temperature between fresh water and salt water is, is fairly low. But what you can also see is that there is a dramatic difference between the temperature of the water and its ability to hold dissolved oxygen. And that's why we see animals like trout, for example, that are in cold water in the north probably would not have enough dissolved oxygen in the water for them to live very well down here. They would not be acclimated to this warm water even though the temperature may not bother them as much as the decrease in the salinity or the saturation of dissolved oxygen in the water. Another dramatic difference that you can tell in uh, looking at the temperature and dissolved oxygen is when you see fish kills here, particularly here in Florida or in warm tropical climates, they almost always seem to happen during the summer months when the temperature is quite high. And usually that's in the evening when there's a lot of algae in the water that is also respiring and putting out CO2 so the dissolved oxygen is decreasing. But it always seems to happen in the warm month periods of the year when the temperature of the water is, is quite high. So now you have seen the dynamic interaction of temperature and salinity as it relates to the amount of dissolved oxygen in water. My name is Leroy Cresswell. I hope you have found this hands-on demonstration to be both informative and enjoyable, and thanks for watching.